I want y'all to know, just off the cuff, uh, I have done like a million takes of this. Making these videos for Kickstarter is not easy, uh, and I hate being on camera, but, you know, this is something that's important, right? <laughs> You know what? Vita is right. These are hard to do. This is my 300th take. And this is my 15th Kickstarter, but still, you know? I don't know what it is. I started an hour ago. I have dust on my shirt now. I didn't have it when I started. So, my name is Vita Ayala, and uh, I'm a comic book writer. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Cherry Gilbert, Necromancer, which is an original graphic novel um, that's being co-written by Pat Shand and myself. I'm Pat Shand. I'm the writer of Destiny New York. My cat's chewing a box below me, hence the sound. Box my books. I worked hard on these books and she's fucking just chewing them. So Destiny New York is a book that came about through Kickstarter. I uh, kickstarted volume one in 2016 and then two, three, an anthology and a spinoff called Gangster as Barista. Uh, yeah, people supported a book called Gangster as Barista. Thanks. Destiny New York introduces a world where magic is a real and regular part of everyday life. Uh, we focus on the elite characters Logan and Lilith, but we have an ensemble cast. The idea is to spin some characters off into their own unique books, like Gangster as Barista, and now Cherry Gilbert is that character. Uh, she's a high school necromancer. She was introduced in Volume 1, and she's been a breakout character for us. I want readers of Destiny New York to love Cherry Gilbert, but also it's great for new readers who have never read these books at all. You can catch up now, or you can start new with Cherry Gilbert Necromancer. The story is about, you know, family and the feeling that comes along with having something uh, intrinsic to yourself that the people that love you can't really understand or even necessarily want to understand or accept. Um, but it's also about grieving, um, you know, not just for others, but for yourself. On the art front, we're joined by Matteo Leone. He's killing it. I mean, just check it out. Jesus Christ, right? Being able to work on you know, a cherry story again is a blessing. I really love the character. She's really sharp and really funny, uh, a little bit mean, but I kind of kind of in a fun way. Um, and she has this realness to her that I really appreciate. But she also, you know, for all her strength, is also very vulnerable. And so I'm very honored to be able to kind of explore the tender and raw parts of the character and hopefully help people love her as much as I do. Um, you know, Pat and everyone that has worked on Destiny New York have this beautiful, lush, and tangible universe, um, and it's a joy to be able to get to play with it. You know, again, it's going to at least look beautiful, but I think that there's going to be something that everyone will connect to in the book. So, anyway, thank you. Now listen, the world of Destiny New York, that's my baby. I did not choose Vita as a co-writer lightly. Vita is an incredible writer. They've written some of the biggest comics in the world, as well as some of the strongest creator-owned books on the market right now. I'm honored to work with Vita because they bring empathy, nuance, and big ideas to stories, and that's what I want for Cherry Gilbert Necromancer. Also, we have amazing rewards, including a painted cover. That's the main cover. This is by Joanna Barnum. And if you can just watch, watch the process. I am in awe still. We have a beautiful variant by Jen St. Ange and a bunch of other rewards that you can check out in the reward section down below. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, indie comics like this are powered by the passion of us, the creators, and you, the readers. Thank you so much for giving us a chance.